Hello, I'm Steve, and we're back here with uh, Dr. Nario of Biointegrative Health Clinic. Uh, it's been a great series. Uh, hopefully, you're keeping along with us and watching all these great topics, and we've got many more topics to come. So I've been really wanting to get to this, these types of topics, doctor, mm -hmm. and that is actual IV treatments that you do at the clinic. So today, I was hoping we could talk about a Myers cocktail. What is it? So hi, yeah, first of all, hi to everybody following us. Thanks, Steve, for inviting me again. Well, Myers cocktail is a basic IV, meaning every IV center out there has it or should have it if they don't have it. It's just, just part of the whole basicality of IV therapies. The, the origin of Myers cocktail came from John My, uh, Mayer, MD. It's not the singer, but it's the MD, the doctor who created it. He came from Maryland and he's a physician who used IV therapies where using nutrients and vitamins to treat many chronic conditions. And he's been seeing good results with it. With that trend, all the healthcare providers who noticed that actually followed this specific pattern that he did. What cases did he use it on? Most of them would be acute asthma, migraines, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, acute muscle spasms, even upper respiratory tract infections, even sinusitis, seasonal allergies, cardiovascular diseases, and even just to improve athletic performance. You know, um, it's just so fascinating. You know, I'm fascinated by this. And um, so if you have any of those symptoms or issues, you might want to check out Biointegrative. Now, one thing I notice when, when I'm in the clinic is there's people from all states. People come from Montana. They come from Minnesota. They come from Idaho. They come from California, a lot of them. Uh, why do you think that is? They come to get these treatments what why do you think they're coming from all these states the thing that i'm sure that brought them to us is one our reputation we've been doing this for almost 30 years and the results can be our testimonies on how the treatments do work on on patients number two there are facilities out there that has medical a medical staff that are not really as equipped to deliver IV therapies. On our end, we have medical doctors like me and Dr. Cora is another medical doctor here and a very competent staff and also the, the MAs that we have here. And of course, we don't give IVs without a very thorough medical assessment. All of these combined got us into the, the IV industry in terms of uh, having a good reputation. And also we tailor made everything for patients, not just as a standard protocol that one treatment fits all. Well, you know, I, I think of a lot of things that you've said and one, as we talk about this um, vitamin bag is also known as, um, one thing that you said to me once that was very interesting is this, this is not gonna stay in my system forever, but it's gonna change the way my body works for months and months, right? Mm -hmm. So how long does it, something like this stay in my body and how long does it change the way my body works? Because if I change the way my body works in a positive way, tell us about the implications of that. Yeah, the, the vitamins most of the time has a span of at least 24, tops 48 hours in your system. And then some of them are water soluble. You, of course, the excess will be, of course, urinated out. But what I always tell patients is when you have specific deficiencies, the cells are craving, they're thirsty for vitamins and, and nutrients. As you infuse the IV, they would generate changes in cells that would last months, even years, not only days, but because of the deficiencies, they will recover again and get that function back. Though you have, let's say, eliminated the vitamins and minerals out of your system, but the long-term effects on how you repair that cell, how you gave it energy again, how regeneration happened throughout your system, 
is long lasting. Of course, not only would you rely on IV therapies, but in our clinic, we also supply patients with knowledge on how to sustain that when they're not here. Diet, exercise, lifestyle changes, all of these come into play in relation to having a better outcome in just not depending on IV therapies. But IVs play a big role. So, you know, and I guess that's kind of why I see people come from Michigan and they stay for a week and they do that maybe twice a year. So what's the Myers cocktail all about? What's mm -hmm. in it? And I also know that, like for me, it, when you give me something like that, it's specially designed for me mm -hmm. because you have learned my body through blood work and tests and all that. So what's, what's the Myers cocktail all about, this vitamin bag and what's in it, you know, and what are the different things in it and, and what's, it, what's it supposed to do? The, the three concepts of the Myers cocktail, maybe I can start with that, is to address illness in three different ways. One, the concept of deficiency, meaning increasing the blood concentration of these essential vitamins and minerals, comparing it to oral supplementation. There is more delivery in the form of IV therapies on, in a deficient cell meaning there's more absorbed for the cell to use rather than the oral absorbed supplements. Another concept would be gut malabsorption. When you have an illness, most of the time it's attributed to digestive problems. A good example would be leaky gut. That's why when you give an IV infusion, you bypass the gut and you go through the actual vein, meaning you get 100% of the vitamins and minerals and not something that's filtered by that damaged gut, thus also wasting your money when you're taking oral supplementation. And another concept will be the jump-starting of cells. If you, if you think about it, when you infuse IV vitamins and minerals in a very large dose, there will be a temporary sudden increase in levels of this in your blood system, and the nutrients will start to enter that cell and just force itself to push it inside the cell for it to be used, affecting the powerhouse of our cell, which is called the mitochondria. This is the spark plug. This is where the kickstart of the energy production happens in every cell in our body. That's why it's forcing its way in there so that we can wake up again and function properly. Okay, so let's get into some really, really interesting stuff that I think people are really gonna wanna hear. So. The, the amounts of, I want to get into kind of what are the, some of the things in this, what do they do? Because I know what some of them are, like vitamin C. You know, a capsule has, you know, a thousand milligrams of vitamin C, but a Myers cocktail, I mean, you do mega C's with 50,000 milligrams of vitamin C, but I think a Myers cocktail has about 25,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Is that true? And what is vitamin C? People don't really, I don't think, the lay person really knows what vitamin C really does, all the things that it does. So is that right? Is it about 25,000 milligrams of vitamin C? And what is just that component? What does that do? Well, the, the concept of, again, the, you're probably asking, let's start with the basic ingredients of a Mars cocktail. And the Mars cocktail has basically four, which is vitamin C, B-complex, magnesium, and calcium. And, and Mars cocktail can come in many variations. You would hear this in other establishments, such as Super Mars cocktail, Mega Mars cocktail, Mega Hyper, Super Duper. There's so many names, but they're all just the same concept. It's all about just the hype and how you present it. But these are the basic ingredients of a Mars cocktail. And, in, and now it, it comes to the point that the practitioner or the one who's doing the IV can modify it for you. That's why there's just so many variations of it. Going back to your question about the dosing of vitamin C, the basic dosing can, of Myers cocktail would be four grams. So basically 4,000 milligrams. When you go higher than that, you already go into the realm of modifying the Myers cocktail. That's mm -hmm. why you cannot apply the, the, the name Myers cocktail anymore because you're, over, you're going over the, the, simp, the basic requirements of being a Myers cocktail. And mm -hmm. you mentioned about vitamin C being an essential part of Myers cocktail. Yes, 
it is a very powerful antioxidant. And it also neutralizes the free radicals in our system, which the free radicals destroys our organs. It's actually the one responsible for accelerated aging. And it's also a cofactor of collagen. Collagen is the one that builds our tissues, our cartilages, in order for us to have a faster repair system and also an immune booster. So you've been hearing this a lot, especially during the pandemic. And this is really good to boost that immune system to fight infections. And a, a, a better advantage for you to think about is for the people who's been taking oral vitamin C, if they go higher in dosing, let's say more than two, 3,000 milligrams, they will have diarrhea and their backside is gonna be crying the whole day. The hmm. thing here is when you do IV therapy, you will bypass the gut. And that's the reason why people get diarrhea because the gastrointestinal tract becomes irritated. And with this bypass that you do, you actually deliver high doses to the body and also stronger effects. But to mind you, giving high doses of vitamin C needs to have precautionary measures. And that's why it has to be applied to you and given to you by medical professionals. Okay, so obviously vitamin C is a, is a big one. So what about B complex? We hear that that's really, really important, but what about the B vitamins, you know, the complex in a mixture like this? Tell me about those. The, the basic mixture of B complex in a Mars cocktail, we call them the fab five of the vitamin Bs. Number one would be B1, which is thiamine. Thiamine is always correlated to somebody who's always drinking alcohol and it gets depleted. And it's also responsible for carbohydrate metabolism. B2, which is riboflavin, is another potent antioxidant. Number three, which is B3, is niacinamide. It's now, you, you can be familiar with this name when you hear about the medication called niacin. Niacin is something that we use to control cholesterol. And also, this is something that is also used for cardiovascular protection. Another one would be B5, which is dexpanthenol. Dexpanthenol actually helps in the building and the breakdown of carbohydrates and fats in our system. And last of the Fab Five would be B6, which is pyridoxine, which is also essential for nerve health, and especially for, for people who has neuropathies, numbness and tingling. This is a very good vitamin B, vitamin B for them. Okay, that's uh, so interesting, the details of what each one of these things do. And they do different things, but they're still called a B vitamin. So this one has always fascinated me. It, it seems to be a mineral that one of the minerals that's always brought out and seemed to be so important for so many reasons. I want to ask about magnesium. Tell me about magnesium. You're right, Steve. There's so many questions about vitamin, uh, I mean, magnesium with our, from our patients and even in the, even the public alone. But magnesium is actually a, a, a mineral. In relation to mineral deficiency, this is one of the most common mineral deficiencies that everybody has in this planet. The reason why magnesium is actually present in our diet. And the way that it gets removed from our diet is through food processing. The way how we add preservatives, the way we add fillers to our food, the way we process everything, it removes and depletes the magnesium that it has. And magnesium, again, it should be part of any Myers cocktail. It's an essential. You cannot remove that from there. And the best one that we use for, I guess, for our formulas would be magnesium sulfate. Why is that? Because magnesium sulfate has a higher correlation with addressing the problems of asthma, muscle cramps, and even migraine. And also it's a, a very popular blood pressure controller for the reason that magnesium has the ability to prevent calcium from entering the cells, meaning it stabilizes that cell membrane in order for you to have better control of it. Well, magnesium is uh, pretty good stuff. Now, can you take too much magnesium if, if in a in an IV drip, or I, I'm sure you can take too much if you're taking it orally, but what's the difference? Can you take too much in, a, in an IV, in a Myers co cocktail or something like that? And how's that differ than taking too much? And what's gonna happen to you if you take too much? Well, the, that's a good question, Steve. The, the one that, let's address first the, the oral. 
uh, people think that mag taking magnesium is a very benign thing, meaning there's no side effects behind that. But if you take too much, the thing that can mostly happen to you is one, diarrhea. It actually helps move the bowels if you take it in the right dose. But if you take too much, you can actually produce diarrhea a lot. That's a common side effect. Number two, for IV therapies. That's why it has to be something that's been supposed to be given by a medical professional for the reason that it can cause heart problems or arrhythmias, or rhythm problems. And it also can lower down your blood pressure so fast that you can even pass out. That's why there are specific dosing that we do for patients and how we titrate that in relation to a specific condition of a certain illness. That's why it's not a safe medication, but it is safe if you're pretty knowledgeable on how to do it. Okay, so that makes me think of another question before I ask about the last mineral. Um, that is, can't magnesium in the right dose, can't that prevent an irregular heartbeat? It can, that's correct. With the so right dosing, too much, you can Okay. Sorry? So if you get too much, it can cause it, but the right yeah. amount can prevent it. Okay. Right. And so you, I'm assuming, know exactly how much to give people. Well, with the uh, with the dosing that we can we can start with here in the clinic, we actually can come as basically as 500 milligrams in a dose of Mars cocktail. But you could see that being changed. Now again, you're deviating away from Myers cocktail. You're going to make that something called modified Myers cocktail. If you see somebody who has a higher blood pressure, you can definitely add to that as you see as in terms of the need of the patient. But again, that's the basic dose in terms of being safe in relation to your approach towards a, an IV therapy a program. Okay, so calcium, that's another mineral. Is there calcium in the General Myers cocktail and why is it in there, if it is? Yeah, so calcium is definitely an important part of the Myers cocktail as well. And calcium, we always hear this for bone health. People who has osteoporosis, who has fractures, uh, uh, calcium is very important to them. But for calcium in the Mars cocktail, this also addresses the, the issues of nerve conduction. It also, uh, I guess, remedies tingling sensations and numbness on, on our extremities and also muscle contractions. This is also specifically for the heart. As we all know, the, the heart is one of the bigger organs that is composed of muscular tissue. And also with this function, you can correlate the calcium to be one of the regulators of your blood pressure and your heart rate. Okay, so great stuff. My last question for this interview is, you guys have a vitamin bag. Maybe it's better described as a vitamin bag as opposed to a Myers cocktail. But um, what is different or special about your concoction? Because I kind of refer to you as the don't take offense, it's kind of like the mad scientist yeah. you know, who makes all these concoctions, right? So in your clinic, Biointegrative, what is, is there something different about what you do in your clinic with, with your vitamin bag? Yes, so. I know, I, just, I don't expect you to tell me your secrets. Oh, no, no, no. But, but just tell me what's unique about it. Well, just I hope people don't think I'm Mr. Jekyll and Dr. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I turn into a mad scientist when I go into my IV room. <laughs> Everything's all all professional there. And the thing with that, my answer to that question is Myers cocktail is a set type of formula. So as I mentioned to you, those specific four ingredients that you would have. And also with Myers cocktail, the thing here is it's from our end, it's customized. When I say customized, I always use the term modified Myers cocktail. And that's why it's something that I always want to make sure that I emphasize to patients that we can definitely we can definitely make sure that the patient, in accordance with their medical history, laboratories, and health goals, we make all of this, this vitamin package into a customized approach for them. Uh, the thing that we can offer really to our patients is the years of our experience. And with our knowledge, the interactions of all these components, the dosing, the side effects, 
uh, us, we know all of these coming into play. We offer safety to our patients. Most important of all, these are made by medically trained and experienced medical doctors here in the clinic. Uh, me as part of be, being one of them will relate or address the medical needs specifically of patients in relation to the illness that they have or even the complaints that they present. Okay, so I thought that was the last question, but you made me have another one. With what <laughs> okay, you... go ahead. So, is it is it a Myers cocktail? Because you you can put other stuff in there, right? So let's say you put amino acids, because I think you you put amino acids in a lot of these vitamin bag bags. So if you put amino acids or other stuff in there, which you know how I love the amino acids, is it not a Myers cocktail anymore? So yes, yeah. Well, the when I mentioned to you about the term modified Myers cocktail, now that comes into a very flexible term. When you say modified Myers cocktail, you you should have the basic components of a Myers cocktail, but you're going to be adding something else to spice it up. Maybe that's a better way to to term it. Or even we sometimes change the name Myers cocktail already, and we term it as a as a vitamin drip. So you could put like amino acids in there, anything that's not going to conflict, right? Yes. So, and again. So that that's the thing it's just pretty uh hard for for inexperienced practitioners out there to mix and match everything because all these components would react in a certain way would you would it be a good or a bad reaction you don't know that's why experience comes into play and knowledge behind these specific the specific mixtures should be there for the practitioner to deliver safety for the patients who will receive it Okay, I appreciate it. That that really answers my question about what makes you different. We're not saying that, you know, other clinics that don't do this aren't, you know, just as sophisticated or just as beneficial. We're not saying that. We're just saying that, you know, you really, your protocols are really dialed in with experience. So yeah, and I, and I have so many colleagues who are doing this and uh, I know they are all trained and very experienced. That's why whenever uh, somebody who's interested in doing this type of procedure, go to somebody who's credible. Check out the, the facility where you're going, the reputation that they have. How long have they been doing this? If you have any people whom you know who've gone through that clinic, ask them what their experience is. That definitely would tell you a lot about the procedures that they do in the facility. That's great advice. All right, doctor. Well, until next time, I wanna thank you. You always give so much uh, interesting information. And again, it's uh, Dr. Nario from the uh, Biointegrative Health Center. Uh, thank you again. Um, look forward to our next interview. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for the invite.